now that you know officially Kyrie's out for the series? Uh, I mean, it's just you know obviously a tough break for him and the, and the team obviously, but you know he, he put in a lot of work to to try and get his knee right for this series, so it's uh, you know very disappointing for him, and uh, you know you, you never want to see a teammate go down like that. How much more difficult does this make the, the climb now to, to win this series without him? Uh, I mean, it, it's always going to be tough. You're playing against, um, you know, a, a really good team. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to be ready tomorrow to, to come out and try to get a win. Has Blatt already spoken about an increased role for you, Delhi? Um, I mean, we're, we've talked about a few things. Um, but, you know, it, it would look like, you know, obviously going to get a, a few more minutes. Personally, how does it change your mindset for, you know, it's a bigger stage, I mean, the Eastern Conference Finals was that, and this is the Finals, and how does it change for you? Um, I, I don't think the approach changes, um, you know, just going to every game, just um, trying to do whatever um, the the team needs me to do to, to help the team win, so um, I, I don't think the approach changes. Del, you guys obviously won the game without Kyrie against Atlanta, but um, I mean, I guess that that would be, um, you know, one positive. You know, you always got to try to find the positive that, that we have. You know, won, won a, a game without him, so or, or two games without him, so. Um, you know, Atlanta and Golden State are, are different teams, but they, they both like to move the ball a lot um, and, and shoot a lot of threes. So, um, you know, there's some differences. Uh, the guards like to penetrate more of Atlanta, whereas um, Golden State obviously like to shoot it, but I think there's some similarities there as well. What about when you're on offense? What did you learn the other night? I mean, they're pretty active defensively. Is it more difficult to get shots off against them? Um, I mean, you know, they're, they're a good defensive team, uh, as, as they've proved all season. So, um, you know, we're, we've looked at some things and um, we'll be ready to go on Sunday. Had you uh, managed to miss the bus? Did you know you missed it or what, what, what happened? Um, I mean, it, it was no big deal. Um, I was just talking to my family and after the game and, um, yeah, just, just having to miss the bus. So. Um, but it, it was all good. Yeah. Booker said, he, Booker said he wouldn't have given you a ride if you had called him. Uh, that's not very nice. He said of maybe him. in the regular season. But not really? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know about that. I, I'd probably give him a ride, but um, yeah, I, I got a ride all good, so no big deal. Obviously, this is a big stage no matter what, but any, any special significance for you being where you went to college and just sort of being here? Um. I mean, it's always um, special to, to come back uh, to play here. Uh, obviously, played four years at St Mary's, which is, you know, about 20 minutes away. So, um, you know, it's nice to have, um, you know, a lot of close friends in town and just, you know, feel very comfortable um, in this area. And I've been to this arena, you know, a lot of times. Um, you know, before playing here, so I feel pretty comfortable here. Dilly, what is that the program take of yourself? Um, I mean, St. Mary's, you know, means the world to me. I had four special years there, um, and I think, you know, Co Coach Bennett has just um, really developed a, a special program there, and, um, you know, it's not just uh, a about the basketball, it's a special school, and um, it'll always be a home away from home for me. How proud are you of the Australian lineage that you've been a part of and are creating more and more into the future? Uh, at St. Mary's? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, I started with Adam Caporn um, and then Daniel Kickett and um, I think there's been about 15 or 16 now. Um, obviously, Paddy was a huge part of that and um, getting us, uh, you know, we, we watched him when we were at the Institute and then um, went over as well. So. Um, I think it's a pretty cool thing to be a part of and uh, hopefully can keep continuing uh, as it goes forward. Matthew, the, the disappointment and the frustration that, you know, when a guy like Kai goes down, 
Uh, I mean, is that pretty heavy with the whole group, or do you find a way to switch that switch and, and just move forward? What's the move? Um, I mean, obviously, you know, it's the the first reaction is just um, disappointment, and um, you know, you, you just feel awful for for Curry and. Um, you know, you, you'd never want a, a teammate to, to have his season finish like that. And um, but at the same time, we, we still have a job to do and a great opportunity. And it's something that um, you know we, we didn't start the season too well. Uh, obviously, starting 19 and 20, and uh, got got back into a rhythm after that. And then uh, in the playoffs, we, we lost Kev, um, and you know banded together and um, you know kept working and then you know Kyrie goes down for a little bit and um, you know I think those experiences have, have forced the team to you know come even closer together so uh, I don't see why this you know will be any different. Is that stuff